Now we're gonna look at the HIP procedure a little bit. There's a lot of planning we can do on the computer with the HIP. So we get a CT scan, CT scan goes into the computer. This is the patient's CT scan. This is kind of like looking at an x-ray view. The main thing we use this for is looking at leg length discrepancy. So we, this is a level pelvis and then we reference off of the same point on the femur and we can tell if one leg's long, one leg's short. We try to fix that while we're doing the surgery. The first thing I usually do is I go look at the cup. You can look at what the cup's gonna look like when it goes in. I, we actually go look at the bone view and so we can look at how it sits relative to the, to the patient's native anatomy. Now sometimes we have to take into account spurs and that sort of thing when we do this. So we'll finalize that. We'll also go look at how much, when we, what we call ream the bone, how much bone we're gonna take away, make sure we're not taking away all this bone or taking away all that bone, which will give us some issues. And then we usually go look at the stem. Same thing, we look at how the fit's going to be. So this one, if I was to be critical, I would say it's a little small. And so I might go up a size. So a little bit bigger. This tip seems to be over that way a little bit. I could rotate it a little bit and then I can move it over to the side a little bit and make it fit how I think it should fit. And then you can look at how it's gonna fit in the canal here. And so then once we're done with that, um, we would go here. This shows us kind of the finished product. Um, so this is kind of new for this software. We can look at sit, stand, and orientation. And so we can go to a side view. So this allows us side view. We can look at what you're going to look like when you're sitting. So you can see this red area right here. This means in 90, so at 100 degrees of having your leg bent up and a little bit of internal, this bone's hitting this bone, okay? So that, is, that can lead to dislocation. So one thing I might do, where is it? I might switch your plastic. See if it does. Now see how it's barely, so it decreased the redness. So what I did is I switched the plastic cup and used one that pushed the femur away from the pelvis a little bit to make the hip more stable. The other thing, that's quite a bit. And so then you can go to stand and you go the other direction and it's fine. So you can move the leg and see how much motion you have before things start hitting each other allows you to move them around and plan the surgery uh, more accurately. And we have some numbers that we like to have, but I can adjust those numbers and how that cup's gonna sit facing the front, facing the back, that sort of thing. So once we have that all done, then we proceed to the surgery. So mainly the robot, we do the cup, which is, will that work? Uh, we do the, so basically what I'm going to do, we've cut the ball off. I'm just moving the ball out of the way for this, but the ball is gone. We have some retractors that show us the, the cup. The robot on a hip replacement is primarily used for the cup. We don't really use it to do the femur bone, okay? So what we do is attach this array, which tells the computer where the pelvis is to the pelvis. So this is attached, comes down here, it's attached to the cup. So if this thing shifts or moves, this moves with it, still knows where the cup is, okay? So the first thing we gotta do, once we attach this, the computer doesn't necessarily know where this is, so we have to tell it where it is. So that's what we're gonna do here. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, is it's gonna tell us what it wants us to do. So it wants us to take 15 points in that area that's labeled blue. So all I'm gonna do is just start taking points. All right. So now it wants me to capture them on the outside of the cup. Okay, so now once I've done all those points, it's given me these spots it wants me to touch to confirm that it knows where everything is. And so now we bring in the robot and you can see, 
I'll show you this. So basically this is what we used. Looks like my best analogy is kind of like a shaped cheese grater. Um, it's what we use to shape the bone inside there to fit the cup, okay? And so that's attached to that arm, spins just like kind of like a drill. Um, and then this is gonna tell us how far, what angle, that sort of thing. Uh, you know, we call it a robot, but I still run the robot. I'm still very involved in the procedure. It's not like I sit back and, and, and let it do its thing. So once this arm's brought in, this is talking to that. So this, in relation to this, is how it positions this. So this is to confirm position that everything is, is normal. So up there, you can see the green is what we're gonna ream, all right? So now you can see, my, that's my cup, my reamer coming into position, all right? And so as I go in, all right, so you can see now I'm gonna ream and see the green will gradually And then you can see the numbers on the right tells you, you know, what we want is those all to be basically green. And, it, and if it turns red, it means we're reaming away more bone than we've planned on reaming, okay? So once we finish the reaming process, this comes out, this fancy arm, I'm gonna take, so this is the actual cup, okay? So this is the cup that the, goes in the patient, it's the final product, okay? It screws on. They already had it on here because it's not very easy to get on here. It's going on. So it screws on, just like so. And now the arm, the computer, will know where this is. Um, and so this, basically when I'm doing this surgery live, it's, we got a bunch of soft tissue here. I usually kind of get this in roughly into position. And then I bring this arm in. And so you kind of put it on. Now this will be kind of, I'm going to put it way off so you can see kind of what this thing does. Um, so I'm going to put it way up here. And so when I tell them I'm ready for it to be oriented, then they turn it on. Go ahead. So you can see it's, there it goes. All right. So now it is going to hold that position while I pound the cup in in the correct orientation that we planned at the start of the surgery. All right, so this goes in to pound with. You can look up there, it tells us, so when we're in there, it shows us we're 12 millimeters proud. So we got about a centimeter to put this cup down to be seated. Hit that in, here we go. So in an ideal world, this not, that number goes all the way down. Where is it? all the way down to zero. We're not gonna hit this pelvis hard enough to put this cup in all the way, but that tells us when we're seated. Okay, once we're seated, then we take this piece off, come out, and then we put the plastic piece in, which is what you actually walk on, and we're done. And then we move on to the femur part of it uh, to complete the surgery. So once the cup's in, once we have the femur side done, we put our local pain injection in, reduce the hip, and we close everything up. And typically, you go home the same day. Um, the other thing I will, will mention, uh, we do an anterior hip replacement 99.9% .9 of the time. That's the way we do, do it. Uh, it is a very um, patient-friendly approach, and it, it significantly reduces the dislocation rate um, of the hips.